Now, what is purpose? Purpose is an area of vision, a goal, a desire, an intention, uh, and an aim, uh, determination. Now, we, we talked about the harling here who, who comes, and, and an individual that is, a harling is one that's hired, one its purpose is money. The Bible tells us that you can't serve two gods, doesn't he? He says you can't serve God and money. You'll love the one and hate the other. The Bible also says that the root of all evil is in the love of money. That doesn't mean that God doesn't want us to have money, does it? But he doesn't want it to be your first love. See, many individuals lose their first love because they lose purpose. Amen? And, and this is the purpose. You have a purpose now because you have a goal or vision. And this eternal purpose is established from God Almighty into your spirit. And one of the things that we always want to search is to find out what is our motive. Because behind every purpose, there is a motive, isn't there? And your motive must be pure. In other words, when that individual was hired, and I've seen many people who are, um, you know, I'm not trying to come against anyone or anything, but I'll, I, there's been experiences I've had that individuals that were pastors were willing to go to the highest paying church. Hello. So their purpose was not an eternal purpose. Their purpose was to money. Amen? And so many times people exchange their purpose for money. They could be doing things for God and they're on an eternal purpose. All of a sudden somebody comes up and offers them money and they don't even realize that the devil is using them to exchange their eternal purpose. And they buy or they sell out their purpose for money, thinking that their purpose will come back in place. Amen? Hallelujah. Is everybody okay? <laughs> Every purpose is set by an intent or motive. Every purpose is set up by an intent or motive or set by. There is a physical purpose and a spiritual purpose. The purpose is established to reach a predestined goal. You have a purpose that is established to reach a predestined goal. Remember, you have a physical purpose and a spiritual purpose. That spiritual purpose is your eternal purpose. Is everybody okay? Go to Ephesians chapter 1. Now, what's the devil come to steal? Your purpose. You know, if you think about it, so many times we are brought up, and I know I was brought up, um, because my purpose was imparted by my parents, and their purpose was that I was to be successful. So their purpose was imparted in me to be successful, get an education, and make money, because money was success. Amen? But that's not a spiritual purpose. So individuals are brought up with a physical purpose, but never a spiritual or an eternal purpose. So what they go, and then when their purposes, according to the physical, are not fulfilled, they fall. They go astray. They fall into lust, fornication, pornography, drug addiction, alcoholism, and everything else. Because it's never been expressed to them that there is an eternal purpose. It starts at a young age. That's why the Bible tells us in Ephesians 4, 6, that many of my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Well, lack of knowledge is lack of purpose. So our children have gone astray because we have forgotten the law of our God, forgotten the purpose of God that have been imparted in us that we didn't impart in our children. Amen? Does everybody understand? So, you know, when a physical purpose begins to crumble, there's that eternal purpose that always picks up. A physical purpose should never supersede your eternal purpose. That's why there's foster children. That's why there's destroyed families. Why? Because many times there is no eternal purpose. 
That's all there is is a physical purpose. And a child, God, what did God say? Man cannot live by bread alone, but every, man, every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Well, that's a purpose. So the world goes astray. And they go astray because of physical purpose instead of eternal purpose. See, because when your physical purpose falls and fails you, your eternal purpose will always pick you up and guide you. Amen? Oh, hallelujah. Ephesians 1 and verse 11. Would you read it with me? And him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the what? Purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. So we see that there is a predestined purpose for me and you, isn't there? There is an eternal purpose for all mankind. One of the problems is, is nobody's told anybody about it. Sometimes people will get so caught up in their physical temporary purpose that they lose sight of the eternal purpose. And they don't express it, they don't teach it, and they don't guide it. Amen? Go to Ephesians 3, in verse 8. Would you read it with me? For by grace you've been what? Is everybody there? Ephesians uh, 3, 8. Ooh, let me get there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ephesians 3 8. Is everybody there now? <laughs> Hallelujah. To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ, to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and the powers in the heavenly places according to the what? Eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. This is an eternal purpose. In other words, your eternal purpose is to make it home. <laughs> Hello? You have an eternal purpose to make it home, don't you? Well, see, sometimes children now, many of them don't even know about an eternal home. So they're in survival mode in this realm because to them, this is their home. But there is no realization or eternal purpose that there's another place. In fact, most people believe they belong here. Amen? But we don't belong here, do we? This is a temporary place. And when individuals begin to get the realization that this is temporary and what is unseen is the reality compared to the what is seen, they become granted, accepted, and taken part of the eternal purpose. Amen? Now, you got to think about this because how many times have people you've met that are just so caught up in the temporary purpose or the physical purpose but there is no eternal purpose you start talking about spiritual things and they just don't get it amen why because there is no eternal purpose that has been laid out for them see with an eternal purpose there's also an accountability that somebody's always watching <laughs> Amen. You know, when, we, when an eternal purpose has been granted and it's been understood, then we know that there is another place that we belong. There's a God that loves us. And there's help from us from eternity. And in this arena, we know then that there is accountability that we must obtain and maintain in our temporary walk in this side. 